Hey everyone, welcome to another lecture. In this lecture, we are going to extract the data from this registration form and we are going to validate the data so that we can use that particular data to register the new user, okay? So the idea here is that, you know, sometimes user may not enter the full name or email address or password or confirm password because we need all of these fields and not full name, but we need email address, password and confirmation. But once we let the user create a profile, then we are also going to need full name and other extra details, right? So what we need to do is we need to validate first if the forms are empty or not. If the forms are empty, we're not going to let the user create account because it's going to broke our application and it's going to generate the errors. So what we are going to do is we will manually extract the data from each of these fields and we are going to check if those data are filled or not. If not, we'll display the error message so that user will have to, user will get the idea that there is some error in the form and he needs to enter the data, okay? So let's go ahead and do that. And to do that, we are going to go to the register.java file and inside that we're going to perform all the validation and extraction, okay? So let's go to the register.java file. And here, first of all, what I want to do is I want to create the variables for all of these fields that we have here so that we can bind the data and extract the data, okay? So what we need to do is we need to bind the data. That means we need to connect this XML component to the uh, variable that we are going to create here so that we can extract the data. So let's go ahead and do that. So all of these are edit text field. So what I can do is I can create one edit text field. I want to add register prefix, okay? So that we will have the clear idea, you know, that this our full name is from the register, register form, okay? And uh, register email, register password, and register confirmation password, okay? And we also have the buttons, right? So let me create the button variable and uh, register user button okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and uh, connect all these variables with the xml resources that we have in our register.xml file so let me do that um i'm going to start with the full name so register full name and it is the same process resources.id dot register full name okay so in the same way i'm going to create the I'm going to connect all the XML resources with the uh, variable that we have created here. So register email, confirm passwords, password. And for the button, we have register user button, right? Okay. So find Viva ID, r.id, register button. Okay. So, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and add one more button here so that user can go back to the register activity. Just like how we had added that uh, create account button in login form, right? So in the similar way, I want to give one more option to the user here. Just like that, set, let me set the constraints and I'll also set the ID, okay? Go to login is the ID for this. So I'm gonna go here and uh, create the variable for that. Okay, and set the XML resources. So go to login, find me by ID, add ID, go to login. Okay, now we'll go ahead and extract the data. Okay, now to extract the data, we need to implement one logic here, and that is whenever, so what we're gonna do is we will extract the data whenever user click on this register, okay? So user comes here and fill all these forms and then he'll click on register to create a new account, right? And then only we can extract the data and uh, validate it because before that we are not going to have the data that we need to validate. So let's go here and uh, add the on click listener on this user button, okay, register button. So register user button dot set on click listener and we'll create new on click listener. Okay, uh, now inside this, we will extract the data. Okay, so 
what we can do is we can create the separate string variable for all of the data that we're going to receive and we, are, we can validate that. So let's go ahead and do that. But you can directly uh, extract it. That's not a problem. But uh, just to make you understand, I'm going to create the string variable for all of these full name, email, password and confirm password. And then I'm going to validate those, those data. Okay, so let me create string variable and give the name uh, variable name as full name. And now I'm going to use the register full name variable that we have created that is edit text variable. Now I can use get text method and I can convert that to a string. Okay. Now whatever the data that your user have entered in full name edit text component, we are going to extract that and save it to this full name variable. Okay. And similarly, what I can do is I can just copy and paste the same thing. And this is for the email address. And I'm going to change it here, register email and get text and convert that to the string. Similar for the password, that's it. So in this way, we can extract the data. Now we need to validate all these data are empty or not. Okay. So to validate the data, what we can do is we can use if condition full name dot is empty. Okay. We can use this uh, method that is provided by the string class and if the uh, this particular field is empty, we are going to give the error to the we are going to display the error to the user in our form. So we'll see that in the we'll see that in action when we run this application. But for now, let's implement it. So what we can do is we can uh, get the same edit text field here, and we can set the error to this. Okay. Now here we'll display the message full name is required okay like that like that and we will return the control okay now we are going to do same thing for all of the data that we have here we can also create the function that validate it and display the error but uh just for your understanding i'm going to do it do everything manually here okay so full name email and uh, register email okay and we all and we will do the same thing for password and confirmation password okay so by the time the control comes here he has already validated all the data that user have entered now one more validation we need to do and that is we need to make sure that password and the confirm password are same so we can use control if uh, if else condition here if the password is equal to the confirmation password okay so what we can do is we can add not here and if the password is not equals to the confirmation password we will uh, set the error to our register password uh, i'll just set error to the register confirmation password actually okay and say is the password do not match and this should give the user pretty good idea of what happened here okay and return the control Okay, so by the time the control comes here, the data is validated. And now we can proceed ahead and register the user. Okay, now let's go ahead and test this uh, validation extraction if these things are working or not. So we can do that by running this application. So I'm going to run this application in my emulator. Okay, the app is running. Let's go to the create account. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on register. And you should see this error message here and it says full name is required so let me add something here and let me click on register it says uh, it says full name is required because uh, i forgot to give the appropriate thing here okay so let me change that quickly okay now let let me run this again let's go to the login active uh, register activity and try to give the full name email address and if i click on this it says password is required now let me give one two three four as a password and one two three four five as a password okay and currently it, it is not validating the email address but we'll add that later in the video later in the like later section of the videos okay so for now i'm just going to give the some sample email address here and click on register and it says password do not match because i have given one two three four and one two three four five but let's see if i click on this now we're not getting anything here. 
So let me go here and add toast message here saying the data are validated. Okay. And I hope that you know that the control only comes here if any of these, uh, if all of these data are valid, otherwise it's going to display the error, right? So if we, if uh, our application displays the data validated message, that means all of our data are valid. So let's run this again. Go to create account. Let me add name and email, password, one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to give the same password, one, two, three, four, five. And now let's click on register and it says data is data validated. Okay. So this is it for this lecture. In the next lecture, we are going to go ahead and enable the email authentication from the Firebase console and start registering the new user. So I will see you there.